Say savage, say savage, boy. Shino Ben is popping. Today we are bagging. We've been cooking. We've been whipping up like daily. You know, we're going crazy, 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 crazy. So if you're excited about today's video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, peep all the other content. You might find something you like. You know what I'm saying? Don't subscribe right away, but just go see if you like something. You know, if you find something you like, go ahead and subscribe and cut that bell on for notifications. And with that being said, today we got a video about Momoshiki Utsusuki. Now, Everybody talks about his prophecy being over. I guess it's been completed, but that's not necessarily the case because I feel as though there's still some secret shit going on. I feel as though Momoshiki still has another way to escape Boruto. Yes, we're going to be talking about that today's video. If you guys are excited about that topic, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're new, you know, obviously, I always give my personal thoughts and personal opinions in this video. You know, if you have your own personal thoughts and personal opinions, you can leave those in the comment section below. And with that being said, let's get into today's video. Let's get it. All right, so the events that we know in Boruto have all been prophesized by Momoshiki. Obviously, not in the earlier stages when we had like the academy days with the new way and shit like that. A lot of stuff in the Boruto anime don't really exist in the Boruto manga. So that's been like the rift between the fandom, right? A lot of people are upset about that. You know, usually Naruto had a uh, idea of what was going on from the manga all the way to the anime. And then, you know, when things got critical, when it was like... The times where, you know, Kishimoto was struggling to get pages out or he was trying to figure out how to end Naruto. That's when we got all that crazy filler, right? But in this aspect, everybody believes that the Boruto anime is filler. So, like, up until, like, Momoshiki is discovered, you know, Boruto's just living his regular life. Then, like, when he's discovered, he prophesies all this shit that's supposed to happen to Boruto. Now, over the time, the prophecy actually starts to unfold and it seems like, you know, over time, he's trying to dig Boruto deeper into this trench of despair. You know what I mean? It's not as though he's just trying to let Boruto, you know, just go through it and just like, oh, yeah, whatever. You're going to suffer regardless. I'm going to just sit back here and watch you suffer. Nah, he's always trying to gain control. Like, if you guys ain't noticed, he's only ever gained control for like 30 minutes. Well, I'm going to just say in my eyesight, it looked like 30 minutes. It could be a few hours in the Boruto time. But like, he never had like a time span where he sealed Boruto away, you know, for like more than a day or two. Or actually sealed him away and was able to get away from the situation without Boruto resisting. You know, Boruto has always had that Naruto effect. You know, when Kurama always tried to snap and take control of him, you know, unless it was like that Shippuden moment. It, it was like Boruto always, you know, somehow gained control. The only time it was really, really bad is when Boruto was out of chakra. The same thing you've seen what happened with Naruto. When Naruto ran out of chakra, he used to rely on the Nine Tails. But when the Nine Tails chakra overflowed him and he didn't know how to mitigate it, it basically consumed him and put him into a blind rage. He had too much power coursing through his veins. Plus, the Nine Tails wasn't on no peacekeeping shit. Nine Tails was on some demon shit. You know what I'm saying? He was trying to get revenge. So Momoshiki, you know, we know you up to something. We know you plotting. Like every time you. You get control of the board till you do something to make it better for yourself on the next go around like literally this man got rid of most of the like tough enemies for Boruto. Every time Boruto had a hard situation, he got rid of him. Anybody that he felt like was going to be a hindrance to Boruto's development or growth, he got rid of him. He's not fucking sitting there getting rid of all these people because he wants Boruto to go through despair. Oh, if Boruto die, I die. Nah, because at that point, you would have been like, fuck it. Like, I'm stuck inside you. There is no way for me to get out. I don't want to live in your eyes for all eternity. I don't want to look through your eyes. So, like, he's telling Boruto that shit so he could get Boruto to fall deeper into despair so he could seal young man away. That's my personal thoughts, personal opinions. It's kind of a theory. And he's he's like, you know, once he seal him away, he going to go with his move. He literally going to seal Boruto away. He going to run to some Utsusuki place using some dimensional jump or like using the coordinates that they had already on Earth for like some weird ass plan because it's been written that way. And he going to go get free, you know, or Boruto going to keep suppressing his ass because like what would be the only other reason he keeps trying to escape? Everybody made it seem like, you know, Naruto couldn't lose the Tail Beast. Like, he couldn't lose Kurama. And then, like, even back in the day, you know, we seen, like, different methods that Kurama got, like, snatched out of that boy in the movie. We seen that boy get pulled out of him in the anime. And then, you know, somehow, obviously, somebody gave up their life. You know, you seen people give up their life to bring these guys back. But there's methods to get the Tail Beast out of a Jin Cherokee. Now, you might be sacrificing somebody, you know, or you might be sacrificing the Tail Beast's which Naruto did. Naruto literally used him up and got him outside of his body. You know what I'm saying? He burnt up the whole gas reserve. He was like, all right, I can get you out. I'm just past gas. Basically, like, that's all Baron Mode is. It's a big ass fart. And, like, Kurama just seeping through the whole time. Like, because if you honestly gonna sit there and tell me that Momoshiki doesn't have an escape plan, I think that's wrong. Like, he's trying to, like, really just keep Boruto despairing. 
or he probably saw that Boruto had the Jogan or even saw it like preferred it to the future and that, that made him just like you know like super geek and elated to have that body under his possession because think about it if everything about the karma is like injecting a flash drive into somebody and it's encoded like all this person's memory, body, memory, muscle, memory, like health records, everything, like wouldn't it just be simple for Amaldo just to extract Momoshiki and recreate his consciousness inside of another vessel, another being? I mean, isn't that the whole premise of what, what Amaldo is trying to do? Like literally everybody's all like talking about like Amaldo trying to resurrect his daughter and shit like that. What if the whole time Amaldo been working with Momoshiki, Momoshiki already gave him the details of the plan, then he told him go work with Ishiki because Ishiki thought he was straight, Momoshiki was sent there to get rid of Ishiki and Kaguya, and the whole time he had a Jekdo Sido cuz coming through Amaldo, you know what I'm saying? So it's like crazy. I know, I know Amaldo's probably affected by omnipotence right now, but to be honest, to be fair, Amaldo probably created something that allows him to like minus the effects that allows him to mitigate that shit because let's be clear this guy created this like creature he created this cyborg I understand he created him with the idea that they're too strong because Jigen made them put him away but like you know I feel as though he still has something like that prevents him from being affected like even if it's some type of frequency you know I don't know yet we don't know yet we're gonna be finding out soon uh, I'm not gonna bank too much on Amaldo not being affected by omnipotence because I don't want to say that is as much to discredit this video but I do feel like in my bones the reason why Momoshiki Utsusuki is always like tweaking to get control of Boruto is because he knows a way to get out of Boruto and I feel in the later of the series is going to be exposed because it's like ain't no way you this comfortable with being like you know in despair because it's like yo just give me control I, I got you I we already we already lost everything you know he just keeps saying that he like oh yeah it it's never getting better you might as well just give me control I I'll give you I'll help you I'll, I'll get you out of this jam because it might be different if Boruto willingly gives his body to Momoshiki while they're together right it's different if Boruto willingly just falls into despair it might be 10 times harder to pull itself out it was like Kurama was always trying to like entice Kushina he was always trying to entice Naruto just to like fall back you know like sit there and die a little bit and let me just take this let me autopilot this bitch you know what i'm saying it was it's just too easy for them to do that i definitely feel as though karama was just gonna burn her body up and let herself be exposed you know the circumstances of being a utsuki vessel is a lot different because even though you die the the fucking utsuki doesn't come out of you you know they only come back as if like you know you you get fucking ate up by the tree or some shit but or get a hundred percent you know what i'm saying so it's like it, it, right now boruto can't be 100 percent because like the pieces that was used you can't they're inside of momoshiki but i feel as though as if momoshiki gets like other utsusuki body parts or if he gets an other utsusuki heart he probably can go back with his move because it's like isn't that the other percentage he's missing you know what i'm saying since boruto is tec still technically part human because he wasn't completely like uh Utsusuke fight I guess you can say he's still 100 because like he used like physical matter to create Boruto's heart so you know it, it, it's weird it's weird I'm waiting on a data book for real I, I really want to know more about like what's going on with them so but this is my personal thoughts and personal opinions on Momoshiki having a secret escape plan if you guys have your own personal thoughts and personal opinions obviously they're more than welcome if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you hit that like button I'm always in the comment section discussing you know we'll be having a time uh the start of the video you guys were having a, you guys have been a fool bro I ain't even gonna hold you but with that being said have a blessed day I'm gonna get about bye